Um, what I stain or oil my um, wood spirits with, okay? So this is a piece of cedar. It's just a kind of a crappy little guy, but whatever, I carved it quick. But this was stained a week ago. What I use for stain, I use this Minwax, this uh, Minwax stuff, this stain, I guess. You can get different colors, you know, so this one's darker. You can stain his whole thing dark and, and stain his like dark one color then you can stain his mustache like gray or whatever you know what I mean but how I do it somebody asked me to make a quick video so I put the stain on and I let it dry right you can use any kind of oil you can use any kind of stain too I don't know what works for you but so all what I do is I get sandpaper I think this is uh, 100 grit okay so let me just hook up my uh, camera to my uh, silly little camera holder. Well, I cleaned up my table too. I don't know if you noticed, but I took the grinder to it. Okay, so I'll just show you quickly how I do this. So everything's stained. I think this is just oil. This is a piece of uh, cottonwood bark I found on the beach in one of my uh, beach combing videos. Pretty cool. Huge piece. I should almost carve a wood spirit up here. Anyways, okay. So all I do is I just lightly sound the high points. Just go over it, you know, get the mouth in there. Oh, another thing too, before I stain, I don't have any black paint here, but I just get my paintbrush, some cheap dollar store paint or any kind of black paint. I paint in the eyes, make it darker. I paint in the nostrils, make it darker. And I paint in the mouth to make it darker too, right? So then once you put the stain on, the eyes look dark, everything looks darker. So just black paint, little cheap dollar store paintbrush, I throw it away when I'm done. Some people keep their paintbrushes and clean them out, but I don't have time for that kind of stuff. So you see how when I'm sanding all the high points quickly, it's giving it a different, uh, it's making it look more pop, you know what I mean? Don't do, don't sand too much. Just slightly go over it, get all the high points. Get the nose, get around the eyes and the eye sockets there. Not really pops, don't it? That's what I do, guys. I don't know if you can try it or whatever, but let your uh, let your oils, uh, your stainer oils, give it a few days to dry, right? Because if you try um, sanding it when the oil's still wet, it's going to get all clumpy and sticky, right? Eh? So okay, that's that one done. Let's do this one. Sometimes you have to push harder because this was really light wood, right? So you're not going to get that much effect. But just hit it a little bit anyways, it'll just give it a little bit of a more character. All your high points. Try kind to of around the nostrils too, make it carry on. What I do to get to the mouth sometimes when it's really tight, because you want people to be able to see the lip in there, right? It's kind of Fold your sandpaper over and just give it a quick uh, little. So there you go, you can kind of see uh, how quick it is. So there you go. So it really makes the nose and everything pop, it makes it seem higher. This one was kind of didn't work so well, but still makes it look better. Just things I learned in trial and error, guys. You guys will find out your uh, different ways you want to do things. Hope everybody's doing good on this Easter weekend. I'm not working, so I'm doing great. I might be working tomorrow, though. You can see my uh, living room's kind of full. That's my coffee table. Good thing I'm a bachelor. <laughs> it's full of uh, wood spirits. This is the one that's going to be given away on uh, April 30th. A couple axes. Big herring that I carved. Some eagles and some other stuff but yeah so I gotta get all this stuff uh, to stores that sell my stuff 
Here's that uh, bark one that I carved yesterday. Big eagle of uh, juniper wood. More wood spirits. It's one of my paintings when I started painting. Um, yeah, so I went in some uh, comp uh, art competition show thing and I won some awards at, for my uh, pieces. I think they're all one second place, but one's uh, best category. That one right there. I think it's for some eagle heads or something that I did. Big eagle heads. The size of that big eagle in there. This is the light that I made. Low shall pass. Anyways, so um, send me picture of your guys' uh, wood spirits. Like I said in other videos, send me pictures of them to my uh, Gmail account, uh, CanadianOneDude at gmail.com or on Instagram, and I'll save them all. And then I'll make a video in a couple months down the road when I got like quite a bit. I think I got like 20 already, but when I get quite a bit, I'll make a video of all the new carvings. So, okay guys, hope everybody's doing pretty good. And uh, take it easy.